Hi guys, I'm back for part two of our Snow White tutorial. Um, the first part is uploading, so we will begin the I portion of this full step-by-step -step tutorial of how to do a Snow White look as close to the cartoon makeup this is not I I studied exactly from the movie itself how her face and eyes look so this is not my interpretation I chose the colors and I am doing the entire face as close as possible to how it actually looks in the Disney film. This is not like just an interpretation. I'm trying to do it exactly how it looks in the film. Of course, I'm not a cartoon, but I want this is not, you know, trying to just, oh, my own version. No, I like studied this. So we're going to go in with this NYX. Um, trio palette we don't need to use the white um, we are using both the light and the dark color for this look um, but to start off the eyes we are going to be using this color here um, now this most of these because I have a bunch of these um, have each name and these are all eyeshadows that you can buy um, individually so I got this as a gift so it's kind of nice because I got a lot of colors that I don't have to buy individually um, however for whatever reason this particular um, trio is called 39 dandy and it just says where it should say the uh, there's only literally two um, names sombra and ombre so I don't know if it's sombra ombre and dandy I don't know but if you look at the back it says in the big letters it says dandy and then above it there's like some um i don't know if that's korean or chinese or i don't i don't i don't know um it doesn't look korean because i did see a lot of korean writing um working at nexon but um you know it's obviously an asian i believe um, please don't get offended if I'm totally wrong, but um, you see where it says this? It says eyeshadow, sombra, and ombre. Um, usually that's where it says the three names of each color, so I really can't tell you for sure. And then this is the only palette that's like that, but we're going to go in with um, get your I think max either 219 and this one I just found at a Korean makeup shop I've told you this a million times um, it's a stiff eyeshadow shader brush go in with this light taupey color and we're just putting this on the lid literally just the lid tap it off they're very pigmented and um, pat it do not swipe it we will be kind of swiping the brown one um, we'll pat it on a little bit because we're just like can use the smallest bit to create the color that looks closest to what she has in the film so if there's any creasing going on, kind of pat it first and then pat on this 
and like I said, staying under that crease. You might have to go in with this color twice. Yeah, so let's take a little more of that. Tap off the excess. And just on the lid. And the very last thing we'll do even after the lipstick is tight lining is the very last thing we're going to do. So we should have that now and we'll do it to the other eye. You want to try to get a good amount on there. You know, it is a very light color, so if you get any fallout, just take your take a powder brush and swipe it away. Staying under the crease, just patting it. Go back in with another because I mean, we really it's so light that you know you you are going to be mixing this with a darker color so you want to kind of you know you need to be careful you don't need to wipe off the brush or anything because we'll be done with this brush um, right after we put in that second color so this is what we should have right now it really doesn't look much different but now we're, this very dark color I want you to take this brush you can use the same side as you did because I mean we really want the littlest amount as possible because we're just darkening it um, this color up the tiniest bit so just like pat it on there maybe that much it's just like the littlest bit tap it off if you have to kind of like tap it on the eye to see how dark and then you're kind of like just tapping it right over that because you just want a little bit of dark right over that staying under the crease just on the lid Can you see there's a little bit of a difference? It's a little bit darker. You could kind of do this like back and forth kind of a motion if you want. It does darken it up a little bit more after you've patted it. I mean, really, you're not supposed to do that with these kind of brushes, but and then pat it again after you've done that. So we should have this and we should be done with that eye. So then go back and a pat, pat, pat. It's almost like you're using this as like a light pigment because you want just, we're trying to create a color that I don't have by mixing two eyeshadows together. So. I'm gonna pat that on there. Might need a little bit more. Don't want it too dark. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> 
gonna scrape a little bit off. I don't want it too dark. Sideways, kind of back and forth motion. And then hat. Let me get a little bit right down in there. Okay, so we should have the lids, the lid done. Now we're going to, I'm just going to clean this off because we don't need it anymore. Oh my goodness. I did mess up. I'm going to have to go in with my Sonia Koshak. Of course, the second time around. I got it a little bit darker right there in the crease. So I need to kind of blend that real quick. I didn't realize I got that on there because I'm not using the light. I'm going to turn the light on so you guys can see a little bit better how it looks because it's a little bit more browner than it probably see. I got a little bit up here in the crease so I needed to take it down to blend it into the crease because it's kind of it's a very light we've created like a very light taupey brown with those two okay I might keep that no because I'm now we're going in with the highlight color anyways so now that I fixed that <laughs> shouldn't have any problems so that's why I use the mirror because yes you can mess up <laughs> all right now take your Mac 224 fluffy fluff I'm gonna go in with the NYX and highlight I need to get more very badly and we're just going to put this under the brow. You can do circular motions. You can do um, windshield wiper motions. You can go you know, on the outer part of the eye, on the inner part of the eye. You just, we want to highlight to, you know, kind of match everything. And do it with the other. And then we're going to be doing under the eyes now. So, what we do for under the eyes is still going to need that 224 brush. I have the color, it's the Urban Decay, and now I'm knocking everything over again, the Urban Decay 24-7 um, in um, Demolition, okay, and you want that sharpened. Sharpen it because we're going to be doing a very small line, not in the water line, but along the lash line. So it's just very carefully and very lightly where our lash line is. Try to make and stop where your um, eyelashes are. Can you see? Do the other eye. I 
just want it on the last line. Very thin. Not super crazy dark. Okay. Now we can put that away. See? Now I have this, which is technically like for gel liners and stuff like that for you to, you know, make a really thin line. We're going to actually use it for, um, we're going to take that darker um, shadow because we're using the eyeliner as a base and just take the little tip, put some of that shadow on there and go right over that eyeliner, that pencil. We're not smudging it because we're just darkening it up a bit because she has a dark brown um, line underneath her eye. So just on the tip, tap off the excess, do the same thing. Just go right over the line you just made. Try not to go into the waterline. It should look like that now. Now I'm going to take my Rimmel pencil and nude because I want to try to make my eyes as big as possible. Using a color that is the same color as your skin tone will help to open your eyes and give the effect of a larger eye. So whatever skin tone you are, get a Rimmel or any, you know, Rimmel seem, seems to be um, the best for this look. But really, I got some black on there, really any creamy um, liner that is the same as your skin tone um, will work and put that in your waterline. If you have to pull down, that's fine. Do you see how that kind of opens it up? Okay, so now I'm going to knock everything over again. It's time to curl our lashes. To curl your lashes, all you need to do is just like do a one at the base, go up two, three, and four, and then again one, two, three and four and then we're gonna take whichever one you want to use first I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal um, voluminous and carbon black and this is to thicken and when we put this on kind of stick to keeping it the darkest on the outer because her eyelashes go it's almost like she has a black line, a thin black line, and like two lap, like thick lashes that come out. Now, of course, we can't do that. So, while putting this on, try as hard as you can to just stick to, like, almost go, ooh, we don't want to do that. See, this is why I have... Don't wear fake lashes. <laughs> um, but yes, this is going to give them thickness. And you almost do want to try to get them to go in that direction if you can. if you can. If you can't, no big deal. 
Don't put anything on the bottom just yet. It's just one coat of each. And she doesn't really have much bottom lashes. So when we do put some on the bottom, we're going to put it on very lightly. Actually, I don't even think we need to put any on the bottom. Because she doesn't really have bottom lashes. So we're just not going to put any on the bottom. So now we're going in with the thinner and this is the Ulta Legendary Lynx in Jet Black. And this creates the length. Yeah, let's not do any on the bottom because she technically doesn't have any on the bottom. But if you want to, you could put a small amount. Now, because we do have eyeliner and um, that powder, I want to kind of give it, um, I want to take the tiniest bit of concealer and it's in the lightest color possible anyways and just do a little dot and a little dot. Like really, we just want to do the littlest bit. And then take our 224 and um, some of the Nixon highlight and clean up. And this will help also to brighten up that eye and keep anything from falling. And it will help to round it too. That would be my sick son, who you wouldn't know is sick. <laughs> he is the toughest child in the world when he is sick. I wish I had his super sickness powers. That's their new name, super sickness powers. Okay, so let's just, let me, we're done with this. We need to go back in. I'll use something else. <laughs> so now we're going to do the lips because I don't want to tight line until the very, very, very end. So let's get your lip brush. Here's mine. I'm just going to pull it out. I believe if you have a make a lipstick palette, using a lipstick palette is the best way to go. Um, but if you're going to use a lipstick, um, like, you know, a lipstick that is a lipstick, Use an orange red. We're going in with this red right here. So just get it all on both sides. 
And when I did this last time, I kind of made my lip a little smaller, but it doesn't really matter. The color is what's really the most important. So you can just start. Paint your lips. I'm turning the light on for this. It's literally, literally like pain. <laughs> I love it. Look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that so gorgeous? Yeah, I'm taking a long time, but you want to make sure you do it perfect. Uh, I did mess up. This is why you spend time. Oh, of course, I threw that literally across the room. I'm so sorry. I have to get up. Because this bottom mirror, I can't see as well. What the flip? I have two there's like br my brush is kind of you see how there's there's those pieces of the brush that are coming out that keeps touching but I am now done don't smack your lips together let it dry and it'll dry to a shiny but matte It'll feel matte. It'll dry. It'll feel very dry. 
but it's super glossy looking. See? Now we tight line. And just keep practice if you're not, you know, you don't like tight lining. Um, I mean, really just get a retract, go to the store, get a retractable eyeliner. Don't use, I mean, I forever always used my 24-7 pencil and zero to tight line. But once I used a retractable I noticed that I literally can just run that sucker up into my upper waterline and it doesn't hurt at all because you don't have any of that wood scraping your, you know, upper waterline. So, get a retractable. I even told other people I left messages to some other art another artist like try it this way because you don't have to um one you don't have to sharpen a pencil two it causes no pain <laughs> let's turn the light on so this is what we look like we have literally no bottom lashes <laughs> And then our top lashes are, I mean, this would be a good if we have the wisps that if you have um, the um, false Ardell lashes, that they're, I think they're called wisps because they go out towards the side. Um, those would be good for this look. So if you do have them and like you, you're going to ever dress up and you want to do this tutorial um, again, get the Ardell Wisps, um, the kind that kind of flare out, or you can do the single ones and kind of just put them on the outside, because it really, if you look in the movie, it's like she has a very dark line, This, which is why we're tight, li tight lining, and then it almost looks like two thick lashes. You know, it doesn't actually look like she has a full set of lashes. <laughs> it's like, it looks like she has, you know, small lashes throughout the front and then two thick ones. Well, that's how it looked in the part that I got the look from. Uh, maybe in the rest of the movie it shows more lashes. Who knows? <laughs> but this is literally from the movie. So I just took this retract retractable pencil, this is an Onyx, Maybelline Unstoppable, and then the L'Oreal in black is black, and I dipped it in there, tried to get enough on there, so I can just go, make a line, right, literally above that, um, on that waterline. Yes, your eyes are going to water, so you're going to want to put your head back. Try not to blink! Because it will try to fall into your bottom water line. If it does, just go back over it with some more of the natural... It makes my eyes water. It doesn't hurt, but it does make my eyes water. But you see how much darker that eye is compared to this eye now? So now I'm going to do the other eye. Dip that in there. I've got gel on that. A little bit more maybe. I just want to make sure I have enough that I can just run that right in there.
Let's search the water. Put your head up. Uh, it doesn't hurt. It's just that what's watering up, and I'm. Where's that coming from? Trying as hard as I can not to get it on the bottom. This is the last step. I do have like this curly, <laughs> like little, like literally, it's like a ringlet of hair for <laughs> that apparently didn't get pulled back <laughs> today. And I wanted my hair pulled back because I was going to do going to put on that little red headband but I can't find it. So I have like a little bit of a line there from concealer. But um, yeah so this is what it looks like with the light on. It's, it is going to reflect back a lot because my face is so pale but this is really more in person what it looks like so we are done I mean this is a wearable look you can tone down the eyebrows um that's what I would do tone down the eyebrows if like you want to wear this as a daytime look or um you know, you for your next party, if you want to dress up as Snow White, you know, here's the tutorial. And you can check it out on my blog. Um, it'll be on there forever. It'll be on my YouTube forever. So, just, you know, click. I mean, it took just as long to do the eyes as it did the face, so... There you go. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you do watch both parts so that you can see how I did get my face um, as pale as it is and how I did my cheeks. So I really do, for those of you who might just be watching the eye video, if you want to see how I did get my face to look the way it does because my face does not normally look like this when I put makeup on I did it a certain way so I suggest watching both parts but you don't have to if you don't want to so yeah this is Go watch Snow White and you will see, wow, she was right. That's basically what it looks like. So I really hope you had fun. I love the red lips. <laughs> I always love the red lips. So have a great day. I can't stop staring at them. I'm like, red, red, red. All right, guys. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this. Um... I'm going to try to figure out some kind of a flower or work on my um, villain, which is Maleficent. So um, we'll see how I do with that. Eek! <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, beautiful, fab, fabulous day. Bye. Thank you.